Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this uh, edge scrolling mechanic for the for our game. So here you can see if I push my mouse here it moves to left and if I put my mouse to the right edge it moves to right. Similarly down moves down up moves up. So we also have the moment with my WSAD as well. In addition to that, we are going to add this edge scrolling today. Okay, so before we get started, I may remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access anything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. And also here you can watch all the episodes of this series which I covered from scratch how did I implement everything you see here and everything is done in C++ here and there is a, another tutorial series that I did but here I have done everything using exclusively blueprints so if you are interested in that feel free to check it out as well I leave links to everything in description below all right now let's get into today's episode okay so right now in our game the only way to move around the screen is using WSAD like this so now what I want to do is when I push my mouse to the top edge the screen should move to the top like this and when my mouse is here, uh, screen this should move like this, similarly to the left and to the right. So yeah, okay. So to implement this, let's uh, go to our uh, controller pawn class. Well, this is the blueprint version. Uh, this is the blueprint child. Let's implement this in C++ Playground. So click here, we can open the C++ parent. So here, control upon header file. This is the header file and here we should have to down player controller, C++ file. Oh, not the player controller, we need the controller form. Okay, yeah. So right now, the only way that I move is through this move function which is bound to input actions here i have bound this to the move action and this move function here is the implementation of move punch function basically it takes the, this input action value as a vector 2d moment input and add moment inputs to the controller pawn that's basically all all the uh, all going on here so in order to implement edge scrolling first uh, let's add a function what should i call it avoid edge scroll with mouse okay yes i don't have any creative names right now okay here edge scrolling all right now let's implement this so what thing we need is determining the mouse position in the viewport so we can do that like this for that we need a reference to the player controller so a player controller and we can cast the controller of this uh, controller phone to a player controller so if the if this uh, controller phone is possessed by a player this will be valid so controller 
here if we have a valid player controller well let's do an early return if we don't have a valid player controller let's return that means the rest of the code is not executing otherwise we have a valid player controller so then what we can do is we can get the location of the mouse we can do it this way dot mouse x mouse y and then if controller get mouse position and we can pass mouse x and mouse y okay so this will be true if we get a valid position and here let's uh oh uh, in order to test this we need to call this somewhere first so i think let's call it here in the tick edge scroll with mouse because this is um, this function is not bound to any input so we have to call it somewhere so i will call here in the tick and here we can use something like this to see but this might complain about this is not being initialized Save everything. Okay, all good. Let's open the log here. I put log here. Why is it zero? Only Y is changing. Oh, sorry. This. Okay, it's working. Yeah. yeah now you see this is zero this is whatever the edge so we have the values okay so so no need to print this anymore now we know that we have the values the next step is getting the viewport size because then only we can decide if we are in the if the mouse is at the edge so to do that we can the 2d what size So this is evaluated left to right so g engine get game viewport Both of them are valid then we can get the size like this game view port get view port size and here we can pass this view port size so now this variable will have the view port size okay now how do we detect top here if uh, mouse x is uh, less than so top left is zero zero so top is zero for y so if mouse y is less than a certain value value so here we do need another variable to define the threshold that we are checking so like the width from the edge that we need to consider where 
two mouses at an edge so maybe let's have a variable here what should we call it edge threshold equals let's say 10 Actually, we don't need this right until we come here so i might as well define it here okay mouse x so if mouse y let's do the easy part first uh yeah it's also easy less than edge threshold that means we can move to left so you will look Let's just call left. Okay, let me copy this best. Box X is larger than this uh, report size x i should subtract it size x subtract this so if this value if the mouse x is larger than the total viewport size if the viewport size x is 1000 then 1000 minus h threshold if the h threshold is 10 it would be like 990 if mouse x is larger than 990 we will be on right similarly y is less than that means we are at top similar to this one why why we are at bottom all right save everything here compile and then successful right here now you see top and here left right what okay so we can now successfully detect where we are so the next step is giving the moment actual moment input so to do that i'll add another vector already let's call it moment input i'll initialize it with f vector 2d zero zero vector okay and then here if we want to move to left that means input B minus one right means the B plus one and top means input Y is plus one so means This one okay and we need to give this 
home on dead so we can actually do that we already have this move function uh, but it takes a input action value as the input so we can create one here at the end if we, we can check if input is uh, not zero so we can use is zero and we can do a not so if this is not zero we can call the move function and as the input we can create f input action value initialize it with input. okay that should be all they have everything Talk. This happens because of the orthographic camera. That is something we should look in to in a separate separately. But yeah, this is working. See, we can move up, down, left, right, up, top. So yeah, it's working. All right. So thanks for watching. That's all I want to do for today in the next episodes um let's look into some more mechanics that we need to implement in order to uh, complete the game there are there are many things that we need to implement like more like fighting cutting down trees building a lot of the stuff so yeah let's complete them one by one and yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and also if you have any suggestions things that i should cover here feel free to let me know that as well and see you in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe goodbye